Now, let's talk about integrating serverless functions with Amazon SageMaker. Amazon SageMaker is a platform for uh, training and creating machine learning models, as well as hosting them, all in the context of a Jupyter Notebook interface. Uh, it runs the models uh, for you in the background, uh, so you can run things in parallel. It's very efficient, and it's a, a great way to work on machine learning problems. So if we go into Amazon SageMaker, the, the first thing we would do is uh, create a notebook. So I have a notebook here called Demo. And when you open up the notebook, you'll see an interface like this. Now, uh, Amazon provides uh, quite a few examples so that you can learn how to use SageMaker and how to do different uh, machine learning functions with it. For the purpose of this um, video, we will be using this breast cancer prediction example that they give you. So that, uh, you can just press the Use button to use it. And this is what uh, a SageMaker notebook looks like. So it's a combination of text and code, just like any Jupyter notebook, or if you're familiar with Google's Colab, it's, um, the interface is very similar, though there's a lot more going on in the background here. Uh, so this notebook uh, would walk you through all the steps of importing data, um, creating a model and training it, and then hosting that model in SageMaker so that you can call it. Um, so once you've run this notebook, what you'll see in SageMaker is that you now have an endpoint for that uh, model. Now, if you were going to use this um, as a service, you wouldn't want to expose this particular endpoint. What you'd want in front of it is a uh, API gateway and probably a Lambda. So in order to make a Lambda that can call SageMaker, the first thing you have to do is go to your um, roles and make sure you have a role that has the ability to, um, the permission to call SageMaker. So I have one. Uh, and you can see it has the SageMaker full access policies. Um, you can limit to, to just evoking SageMaker if you want, but this will work. Once you have that role, then you want to create a Lambda which will actually call SageMaker. Um, but here we have a Lambda. And if you'll notice that the role, we're using the role we were just looking at that has permission to call SageMaker. Uh, the code for the Lambda, we're going to use Boto3 to get a hold of the SageMaker runtime. And this will allow us to invoke a SageMaker endpoint. Um, this name here is the same name we saw for the endpoint here. So it's just copied from the SageMaker endpoints. Uh, we get the name. Uh, then the uh, Lambda just takes the event and pulls data out of that and then passes it to the SageMaker endpoint as a payload, takes the result. Um, in this case, if the result is one, it returns M. And if it's not one, it returns B. And that's the predicted label. So once we have this Lambda, to, to really expose it, we need to put an API gateway in front of it. So let's look at doing that. So we'll create a new API. Um, let's call it We'll create a resource. resource is created, uh, we want to add a method to it. We're going to add post in this case because we want to post some data and then get the predicted result based on that data. Uh, and then we're going to have this post method use the lambda function that we just looked at, which is, uh, that's okay. Now let's go ahead and deploy this API. Uh, we'll give it a new stage. Uh, we'll just call this one test. So here we see the URL we can use for invoking this. Let's copy that. Uh, and we're going to use um, a program called Postman to post. This is very similar to using curl, but it's an easier interface to use. So we've got our endpoint. And 
Uh, in the body of our post, uh, we're giving it some data, and this is data that we uh, just grabbed from some of the example data that they provided uh, along with the endpoint or the, um, the notebook. So we send the data, and we see we get the result B, which is the appropriate result for this data. So you can see it's, it's relatively easy to set up uh, an API gateway in Lambda in front of your SageMaker model um, and thereby create a uh, endpoint that's client-friendly and that you can use to distribute the knowledge you have in your model.